I'm Lazy, welcome back to the channel. Um, you probably remember sort of a few months ago I made a video of the set of ladder bars that I was going to fit to the Capri. Uh, the main purpose of that was really was just to stop the extra twisting. Um, anyway, this is the, the setup here. You can see the two ladder bars and the framework is to support it. Unfortunately, it didn't actually work. Um, on close inspection, when I was sort of looking at it the other day, I noticed that the the leaf springs and the ladder bars are on a different axis, different pivot points. So basically what was happening is they're both locking themselves together and just locking the axle up. Although the axle didn't twist at all, it just didn't work. I've tried probably about five or six different launches, and it's just cars going all over the place. So what I've decided to do now, I'll take it all back off. Um, this is an ideal setup for anybody that's got a Mark II Capri. You just bolt straight on and you can use your ladder bars. Right, so what I've decided to do is make a copy of the, it's an American company called Caltrax. Um, they've got a tr Caltrax system and it's, I'm not sure it's going to work or not because it's so complicated because the spring shackle, or the eye of the spring, doesn't go underneath the chassis rail, it goes to the side. I don't know if you can see it in there. So I'm going to have to be quite inventive and make something. I'm sure I can make it. So, well, the, the, what the plan is, I think you can see in the background, there's a little cardboard template there. That's basically where it's going to go. I know it's a bit complicated to explain at the moment, but what I'll do, I'll do a few videos as we go through and hopefully it'll come clear. I'm going to get rid of this uh, leaf spring, because it's, it's multi-leafs. Apparently I should use a single leaf, which luckily well, I've actually got a pair of single leafs. Um, there's off my friend Colin's car. Unfortunately, Colin passed away a couple of years back. So, at least one part of his car came on racing. So, I should have been installing them later on. Um, so, what I'll do, I'll just take a couple of videos showing you bits and pieces that I'm going to do and not going to do. Obviously, this anti tramp bar at the bottom here, that's, that's all going to come off. So, at the moment, I'm just in the middle of fabricating some brackets, which is obviously these brackets at the back there. There's going to be one there, there's going to be one in the front somehow, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. And then also, at the back, you can't really see where the back shackle, where the back leaf goes into the shackles. Then the shackle is going to come off and we'll make some sort of sliding system so the leaf can slide. So that's the cunning plan. So what do I show you? The other bits that I've made so far. Well, right, here we go. This is the, the mono or single leaf spring that I've got, or a pair of them. Should do the job. And what, what I've done, I've been recommended that in the where the bushes go, instead of using polyurethane or rubber or whatever, you've got to use aluminium bush. So I've actually been making some. So let's go to the lathe. Well, I've made four so far, but I've run out of aluminium. The problem I had, let's just show you. Yeah, yeah, right there. Here's the four. The problem I had, because I made it out of a bit of two and a half inch bar, it wouldn't actually go in the lathe. So what I had to do, I had to put a bolt through it and do it that way, so it's like sticking it like that, machine it down. But it worked out okay, so these are going to go in there. I should, put, I should push them, I'll press them in. Slightly over side, they go in nicely. But what I've got to do is where this hole, I've put a little, I think it's an 8 mil hole at the moment I've got to open that up because when I take the bushes out of the old, the other leaf springs they're going to go in there, the steel bushes, so that's that so I've made four of them, enough for one leaf spring and the brackets I was on about with the templates I've actually cut four of them out now, and these are the four and again, unless you know the Caltrack system you probably won't understand what I'm doing at the moment Oh, that makes two of us, let's see. So what we'll do, I'll, um, I'll do a little bit more, and hopefully um, it'll, it'll make sense later on. So we've got four of these, one either side, the spring goes, well, what happens is the spring goes, I can't explain it really. You sort of imagine that's the spring, and that's, that's the end, the eye of the spring there, and you've got another plate going on the top, and then from here, you get another bar with some rod ends, 
it goes underneath here and the bottom of the axle. Now that holds the axle together, so that stops it twisting. And as it loads up, this whole bracket twists round, and this, well, that's a bolt at the moment, goes on top of the leaf spring. And it actually stops the actual tramp, and obviously the bar at the bottom actually stops the actual from turning. I'm not really explaining myself very well, but what I'll do as I get some more bits and pieces together, I'll assemble it all, and hopefully it'll make more sense. Okay, thanks for watching. See you again shortly. Bye now.